Hey fam, how you doing? This is Cortland. You know, it's been a while since we've been on, but you know, I'm glad to be back. Happy New Year. You know, I hope y'all enjoyed it and everything like that. You know, did some great things, got some good things coming up, you know, for this year. Got those goals set up and everything like that. Now, we're going to get into the program. And who I have with me today is Michael A. Johnson. And we're going to talk about STEM education today. So, you know, and as usual, I love to live. I love to leave with a quote. So, you know, here you go. If you learn late, you pass it on to people so they can learn early. Hey, that's what we need to do. That's the kind of stuff that we need to do in our in, in our communities, man. We need to we need to step it up, you know, help our kids out, get into these different programs and everything like that. So, hey, I'm going to turn to Michael Johnson and we're going to get this show started. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Doing great, Mr. Cortland Smith. It's yeah, great to be on your yeah, show. Thanks yeah. for having me. Glad to have you on. We're going to talk about a little bit of STEM education and you know, to get, get it started. You know, tell me a little about yourself. Hit the people up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. As you know, my name is Michael Johnson, a.k.a. Michael Love, <laughs> as they called me when I was a student at Cheney University. Okay. But my background, I grew up in North Philadelphia, attended E. Washington Rhodes. Then in middle school was Rhodes High School. I attended Morrell Dobbins, located at 22nd and Lehigh okay, in North Dobbins. Philadelphia. You know, after graduating from Dobbins, I had the great opportunity to experience the number one HBCU university on the planet, sir. Cheney University. Yes, sir. Proud. I'm a proud alum of Cheney University, my man. <laughs> yes, we have to give a shout out to our 307 brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. 307 Beta. Then Cheney prepared me to attend graduate studies mm-hmm. at Drexel University. Oh, wow. Okay. The College, New Jersey. Yeah. All yeah, right, Drexel, uh, there I had the opportunity to study mechanical engineering and nanosciences. Yes. When I graduated from Cheney University, I was teaching mm-hmm. and I taught for 22 years in the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. And after teaching 22 years, I started my business, which is called STEM Educational Enrichment Services. Mm-hmm. And I focus on STEM and education. And I've been in business now for 12 years. Years, four months. Okay. What kind of things you do with your, you know, like your business? What I'm doing is promoting education that's going to be viable for students to live, learn, and work in our society today. Okay. And those, most of those concepts are in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I don't know if we got into this or answered this question yet. But what is STEM education and how important for schools to implement its content? Content. How important is that? Thank you for the question, Cortland. STEM education is a science, technology, engineering, and mathematics program introducing key concepts and principles of engineering. And what happens when schools adopt this program and this concept It enhances the core curriculum with other subjects. Mm. Cortland, when we have science, there are several branches of science. We have life science, earth science, physical science. Then we have physics and chemistry and biology. There's a lot of science. And it's important for us to really understand and learn those things. Those programs, those courses are important. Sometimes, man, I I have an issue with this. And I, I guess I'm looking at it wrong. You know, based on the explanation that you you got into, you you just gave because I'm like, well, what about if everybody don't want to be in STEM? But I see how it touches everything that you that you do. Yeah. See what's going on in our society. Most of us are not aware of how important STEM is everything we do. Mm hmm. In my last book that I wrote, STEM in Education, See Here in Space, I called this the STEM technological era. Let's take a company like GE. GE, Cortland, when you and I were kids, they were known for washing machines, 
dryers, appliances. Mm -hmm. Today, GE have they doing work on the Hubble telescope. They're on Mars. They with spaceships. They're in manufacturing and transportation. Mm -hmm. A G GE products are everywhere. Right. And that's because of the driving force, which is technology. Technology is driving everything, making things. There's two things what it's doing. It's making things better mm -hmm. and it's making things faster. Okay. And that's the vi viability of importance of st STEM. That is what we call STEM. Mm -hmm. 